Oh, man. Chunky little four pound. Three and a half, four. I never have my. Buster. Woo, that's a pretty little short, fat fish. Hello, everybody. I'd like to devote today's show to a subject that I've believed in since I was old enough to tie on a fishing lure. <laughs> and that subject is the importance of fish vision and color perception. Now, I'll be the first to admit there's a ton about the anatomy of fish that I don't fully understand. But what I have learned is that fish use sight almost 100% in their selection of food. It's true. They are for sure greatly influenced by sound, smell, texture, and taste, but sight is by far their dominant sense. One thing that top hook, that fish is gonna throw that thing in my hand. Ah, got him! Got him! Got him! Easy. Hello. See ya. Today is early spring, and I'm doing something I really enjoy, and that's fishing pre-spawn bass. This is the time of year when shallow bodies of water begin to warm, drawing these great fish to the shallows. Now this initial move is not a spawning movement. The spawn usually occurs much later, at least a few weeks after their shallow migration, depending on weather. These early spring colder water movements are associated mostly with something to eat. Bass follow the forage, which in this case is threadfin shad. Here also, the bass will feed heavily so they can build up additional energy for the upcoming spawn. And during this pre-spawn period, they're fairly easy to catch once located and provided you offer them something they can see and relate to. What we're offering them now is a bomber shallow fat-free shad. And believe you me, this is a color that's most visible at this time the citrus shad. Woo! Boy, what a pretty one. Fatty. Let me ask you this. How many times have you taken your wife, your daughter, your son, maybe even a fishing buddy, and they catch four to five fish to your one? and they're fishing out of the back of the boat using the same identical equipment that you're using. Everything's the same, but with one exception. They're using, let's say, a medium green lure, and you're using a light green lure. That is a very small difference, just in the two shades of green. Surely, that couldn't be the reason, could it? Well, let me tell you this, and then you decide. It's a known fact that fish see colors and shades of the same color differently in different water clarities and in different light levels. 
Some colors are highly visible to fish at one time of the day and in one water clarity and become practically invisible at another time of day or different water clarity. This is Mother Nature's way of protecting some species of forage fish. If they remained visible to predators all the time, they would have been eaten long ago. It's like a deer. If they were the color of Tennessee orange, just how long do you suppose they would survive during the hunting season? Fishermen often think that fish have turned off when the color they're using quits catching Ooh, fish. Better fish. But it may be that the light or the clarity changed and the fish can't see their offer. Ready? Where are you going? Barely hooked. Got that hook just barely in that bottom lip. Ooh, look at the size of that. Let me tell you something else I've found very interesting about a fish's vision. Ichthyologists and biologists both have found through years of research that a fish's eye receives five times more light than humans do. Their eyes gather more light and in effect amplify it, allowing them to see at much lower light levels than we can and at much greater distances. Those in the know say that fish can see over 40 feet in relatively clear water, where we, in a scuba gear, can see approximately 10 to 12 feet. In stain water, where we can see two to four feet, tests show that fish can see 14 to 16 feet. Now, in a muddy environment, where we can only see six inches or so, fish can still see three to five feet. Where are you going? Full of himself, isn't he? He's up there to get him a little mouthful. I mean, oh, pretty little thing, you. You pretty little thing, you. Get that hook out of there. It's a well-known fact that water absorbs some light rays faster than others and therefore changes the appearance of colors as far as man or a camera sees it. But remember, fish's eyes are different than ours. Although researchers don't know exactly how fish perceive colors, they do know which colors are most effective for catching fish in different light levels and water clarities based on years of research. Here he comes. There he goes. Where does he stop? Nobody knows. Whoa. Yay! <laughs> hey, look at the size of that. Yeah. Since fish's eyes are on the side of their head, fish do have a wide range of sight. However, the right and left eye see a separate half of the field, and they suffer a little from split vision. Nevertheless, it is an advantage to have each eye able to scan an arc of 180 degrees or more on each side of the body. To the fish's rear, there is a blind spot where neither eye can see, and this is why you'll catch more fish by bringing your offering to the fish rather than bringing it up behind him. Dead ahead, a fish can see a bait at a distance and react to it quicker. Also dead ahead, the arcs of the two eyes overlap to provide a narrow band, perhaps 45 degrees, where the fish has binocular vision. It is in this band of binocular vision that a fish can expect to have accurate depth perception. In chasing down a fishing lure or living prey, where depth perception is important, fish will attack straight ahead, and this straight on position gives the fish the maximum ability to estimate target distance. Without depth perception, a fish has a tough time getting the range of its target and hitting the mark. 
And if the lure of prey is not too visible, his chances of getting it is virtually nil, regardless of what direction it's moving. Oh, big boy, don't. There he goes. Ooh. Come on back here, baby. Oh, that's a big old bass. Come on. Come on. It's easy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I got you. Woo! Woo! Mama. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's go home. Ready? Wow! What a morning! What a morning! Yes, sir! Woo! I like that. Oh boy! Well, today there's absolutely no way for me to tell you all there is to know about fish vision and color perception. It would take weeks, and for me to tell you, well, <laughs> it'd take forever. However, if you remember nothing more about fish vision and how a fish sees your offering before the strike, well, you've gained an edge. Sound and smell might lead him to your bait, but the final attack is dictated by sight in almost every instant. Therefore, if you can get a lure in front of the fish in a natural manner, and it's approximately the correct shape and size and the right color, well, you've increased your odds for success tremendously. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.